Hello, my name is Raúl Estevet. I am professor of physiology in the Faculty of Medicine in the University of Barcelona. Our group is working in the molecular basis of a type of leukodystrophy called megalencephalic leukoencephalopathy with cortical disease. This disease it is diagnosed on the basis of a specific clinical phenotype and also on specific MRI abnormalities. So basically there are defined two groups of patients. Uh, most show a neurological deterioration and the rest uh, lack clinical deterioration and, and, and show a major improvement on magnetic resonance imaging. Our group, in collaboration with the group of Marjo van der Naap from Amsterdam, have identified and characterized most of the mutations identified in the two uh, genes related with the disease, which are called MLC1 and GLIARCAM. The function of these two proteins is still unknown, although our work has, uh, has related the function of these proteins with the regulation of glial uh, chloride fluxes in the brain. And it seems that the regulation of these processes is important for some physiological functions, such as the control of volume regulation and the process of potassium siphoning. Hello, my name is Taita Arneda and I'm the first author of this paper. In this work, we have analyzed biochemically and functionally most mutations identified up to date in EPACAM. We have classified the effect of these mutations in different subtypes. Some mutations affect glial CAM protein expression and its arrival to the plasma membrane. Most mutations reduce their localization in cells and junctions. In this work, we have found two different mechanisms that lead to this defect in targeting. Some mutants affect its ability to see homo-oligomerize and the other ones may affect transhomophilic interactions. We have also identified a mutation that is mislocalized in astrocytes from the MLC knockout mouse, suggesting that both proteins rely on each other to be stable. Finally, we have found some mutations that act as a gain-of-function mutants, showing an effective internalization in MLC knockout astrocytes treated with high potassium conditions. Thank you for listening. So we believe that the study of these mutants will be very important to solve two main questions that remain on MLC reserves. Why some EPACAM mutations behave as dominant and others as recessive? And more importantly, what is the molecular role of MLC1 on anglialcam? We hope that these questions will be solved in, in the near future. So please don't hesitate to contact me if you need further explanations about this work. Bye bye! bye.